In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a trailing stop loss. But before we get into what a trailing stop loss is and how to use it, first we need to make sure you understand the difference between a market order and a limit order. So for those of you that don't know, a market order is an order that is placed to fill at whatever price the stock or whatever asset is going for on the market. So when it comes to what price you're going to get for it, a market order is a lot less certain and can be considered much higher risk in volatile environment where a limit order is an order place that will not exceed the price that you place the order for. So if you place a limit order for $20, your order can get filled anywhere up to $20. It could be filled for $5. It could be filled for 15. It could be filled for 19. More than likely it'll be filled at 20, but if the price is lower, it'll likely get filled in between somewhere. So those of you wondering right now, I'm using the Moomoo app. Now taking a look at it in order to set a trailing stop, you're going to come over to where it says order type. You're going to hit this down arrow and you're going to come down and place a trailing stop. You may notice there's a trailing stop and there's a trailing stop limit. We already went over the difference between a market order and a limit order. The difference between the trailing stop limit and the trailing stop is just going to be the fact that the trailing stop is going to put in a market order where the trailing stop limit is going to put in a limit order. Now going on, we're going to click on trailing stop. And in order to put this in, what you're going to want to do here is it asks for a ratio. You can either do dollars or percent. So for instance, if you want to do dollars, you can do trailing uh, where it says trailing type, you can do ratio or you can do amount. So if I wanted to set one for $5, I'd set it just like that. Or if I wanted to set it for 5%, pay close attention right here because I've received several messages about people messing up on the ratio where they wanted to do a 10% stop loss and they set a 10th of a percent stop loss. So right here where it says 0.01, you don't want to do this for 10% because it's really a 10th of a percent. You want the full number to actually be 10. You want to pay attention to decimal because if it's 10.5, that's 10.5%. So if I see 0.10, I'm going to just let you know right now, that's going to be way too small. And, and honestly, you may as well not even have that on there. So in order to set the stop, you're just going to come in do that and i'm not going to place this because this is not a trade i'm actually taking right now but this is exactly what you would do you would then go on to hit buy or sell depending on which way you are going into the trade and that is how you set the trailing stop all right so here we are we're in trading view i'm going to try to give you my best physical representation of a stop loss so let's say the stock starts trading at about 12 dollars. you have your stop loss down here at 10 dollars and you want your take profit up here at $20. This is gonna be the example with the regular stop loss. So say we come up to about $15 and then we get a pull back here and then end up hitting your target. Well, this pullback took us out of the trade. We hit our stop loss this took us out of the trade. Now we missed out on the trade because we got stopped out and we weren't here to really track the trade. This is one of the cases you would want to use a trailing stop. Now the second line is going to represent the trailing stop loss. All right, so in this situation, this blue arrow is going to represent the trailing stop. So say the trade starts over here. This is where the stop loss initiates, but as the stock moves up, the stop moves up as well. And pretty much what happens is we come up to here and we get stopped out right here with the trailing stop loss, which means a loss of $2 actually ended up turning into a profit of $2. So this line right here represents the regular stop loss. This kind of messy line I drew represents the trailing stop. So one of the many beauties of the trailing stop is you can leave the trade alone, not need to watch it and get stopped out in profit. So whenever you go down on the trade, it's not going to follow you. And as the stock goes up, it's going to be there to make sure you take profits on the way up. Now, one thing I've kind of failed to talk about is how the trailing stop follows this. So the way that the trailing stop follows the actual stop price point where it stops you out is going to be up to you. And this is usually 
represented by either a dollar amount or a percentage amount. It's either going to be a whatever percentage pullback or it's going to be a this dollar amount pullback. So looking at the example we just had, say our trail is about $2. So from right here, our, our trail moves by $2, which would mean when we're over here, when the stock is at $15.75, the trail would be right here at 1375 and I know it's not exact, but this is pretty much how it works. And say you got back in the trade over here with the same trail, right here is at 931, so we'd be at 731. Say you got back in the same trade over here, goes up to 2004. So 1804, looking at this same example, Assuming that we ended up getting a pullback after this to this level to something that looks like this, your stop loss would have moved up to this 1804 level. And looking at this trade, you would have been able to ride up and, and take this trade for a ride of about $10. Now this is hypothetical and example. Let's take a look at how I would personally do something like this. All right, so here we are. We're looking at Nvidia's chart. I'm going to clear those off and we're going to see if we can identify a trend. So I can see we possibly have an upward trend right here at about, yeah, just following these two lows. We'll see if it ends up coming back, but yeah, we have some trend lines right here. Let's see if we can kind of find a channel to the upside. I don't really see anything too clear on this, but let's just assume that Nvidia is respecting something like this here. I'm going to clear these out just for demonstration purposes. Now this probably isn't perfect right here, but if I were to take a trade like this and say I got in right here and, and I wanted to set a stop loss, ideally my, my entry would be along this line right here and my profit target would be up here. So taking a look at that using the same thing we just did. All right, so once again, let's say we take our entry right here and, and kind of how I like to look at where I want to set a stop is I'll look at how far did it break below in the past. So right here, you see we broke, right here is about 93 and it broke down to about $90.74. So right there, we'll say I'll add a $3 cushion. So now looking at that same level, if I'm this blue line's gonna right here, we'll make we'll make this line green. This is gonna represent entry, or actually here, we'll make this we'll make it black just to make it clear. This is gonna represent our entry. Our stop loss is gonna be blue, so our entry was at pretty much 99. We will make our stop loss at 96 or pretty much 96. All right, so our stop is down here. We're going to make our stop blue. All right, so we have our entry, we have our stop, and now let's draw the let's draw the trail or draw the trade. So we're going to try to follow this trade from our entry right here, which would start down here. Pretty much ran up here so from the high right here of 107 three dollars down be about 104 so looking at the example right here this trade would have gone all the way up ran up here until it got stopped right here at 104 taking a look from entry to exit all right, that's a $5 run trading stocks and a 5% run. If you trade options, you know what that can do, that you know a $5 move in an options trade is, is good money. So taking a look at it, uh, your stop would have moved all the way up from pretty much $96 up to about 104, allowing you to remain in this trade worry-free and potentially look for a better entry as we are approaching our take profit, which would be this upper trend line. If you haven't already taken advantage of it and are interested in getting up to 20 free stocks, hey, be sure to check out the Moomoo link down below in the description. I've never seen them offer this many free stocks, so be sure to take advantage of that while it lasts. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, 
Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.